they don't meet the codes of the the city, and in order to do um, any kind of renovation to them, we'd have to renovate the entire thing and um, spend a bunch of money making them up to standard codes. The only reason we can keep them now is because we haven't done, touched them since the codes have been changed. So how do you plan to implement all the going green and all that stuff around campus with all that? Um, can I respond? Are you done? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, just so you know, um, we're, our targeting recycling is our main green and clean campaign. Um, mainly on game days, we've already set prices for little blue bins. We're going to target aluminum cans because that you get the most aluminum and like recycling material out of those. Um, and since we have a bunch of visitors coming on those days, that's something that we're really going to focus on. But in regards to like different things like that, um, we notice that lights stay on in Connell all the time. And so with recent renovations and new dorms and the new ion size, the new 24-hour study rooms, new buildings that are on campus, um, we're hoping to engage with the administration and talks about light sensors that will like automatic lights on and off, something new that we've kind of thought about um, that we've been doing. Um, I just turned off the microphone. Um, <laughs> but save it energy, you know? Um, but that's something that we really want to do is push recycling and advocate for greener buildings. Like the administration is one of the, I think, the first green building on campus. So it's continuing that trend of new buildings as we expand on Mercer's campus, as we grow, building new buildings, expanding outward. I think that's where we really want to post on the new buildings. Obviously, like Bear Rock needs some. It's pretty light conservative. I mean, you don't get much light in here. Um, but that's how we would kind of do that if we were to address those issues. All right, thank you. <laughs> now it's um, Harrison and Jolly Ticket's turn to ask their question to our Boss and Perla Ticket. Are you guys ready? Yep. All right, please ask your question. Okay, so the role of the Student Government Association in its most basic grassroots form is being a liaison between administration and students. The largest part of that is the administration portion. So what have you guys uh, done so far to, to have talks with the administration and build a relationship with them where you can benefit the students? Because I know you guys mentioned drive and that's awesome, but if the administration um, doesn't engage in those conversations, it's tough to do a lot of things. So what guys have you done to be able to do that so far? In two minutes, guys. Well, we've already met with Dean Pearson, had talks with him, um, <laughs> meetings with other faculty around the campus, we are, we, we've talked with many of the, we, we know many of the faculty in, in engineering, we know a bunch of people around campus in administration, and there are, we, we, do, we do have a relationship with them, so it's not like we're meeting them for the first time. And uh, David has something for that. Um, yes, we, we have not gone and met with as many administration as you guys have, um, being on SGA, uh, um, two, three years, I don't know how long you've been on. Um, but we, we haven't gone out and done all um, the meeting with the administration. But that doesn't mean that we're not ready to go meet with them. That doesn't mean we don't have a relationship with them. That doesn't mean we, we're not going to be able to talk with them when we, once we get in office to handle all the business that we need to be done. Um, we, I've had a personal experience handling, uh, with, dealing with administration when I was trying to um, um, start up the club soccer program. Um, that's the main part. Like I had to talk to you like half the, over half the people in this building, day to day, talk to everybody, because I had no help with that. It was just me. And it's, it's, it seems like it's um, on a bigger scale, yes, but the fact that we haven't went and sat down with every single faculty um, and staff member yet, I don't think it uh, hinders us in our ability once we step into office to handle these issues and to make relationships and to get the things accomplished that we need to be accomplished. Because administration wants to work with whoever's elected. They're not going to push us off just because we've never met with them. They can, we're going to meet with them um, and get to know them and develop great relationships and have that foundation to be able to work alongside them in a um, very efficient manner. All right, thank you. And that was the end of our curveball session, and we're going to continue with our questions. And we're going to ask one more question, and then we're going to give opportunities to any of you guys that would like to ask a question directly to them. Okay, this is actually about tickets, and so you'll have two minutes to respond. Um, recently in the news, there have been a lot of things going on with social issues across college campuses and different things going on. So how will you address social injustice at Mercer as president if an issue does arise? Two minutes. Bob and Bill, you can respond first. They're always first. Oh. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, with all the social issues that's been going on around the country, as in the Oklahoma SAE thing that happened and other things that have happened around this country, uh, we think it's really important to make sure that Mercer students are aware of what's going on and to make sure that we do not engage in those kind of acts. So if something happens around campus, or around the country, we want to make sure to, to hop on it and quit fast and in a hurry and make sure that the campus knows what happened and how to not do that, how to stay away from those bad situations because that's something that Mercer doesn't do. We don't, we don't engage in those things that make national news on a bad headline. We only make good headlines. So that, that's something really important to us that we've actually talked about recently because it's really important. Another thing along those lines is um, we will take a stand against racism, racism and against sexual assault, um, against all those in, uh, instances that have been coming up and has been causing problems. The, um, we met with Underwood um, as uh, fraternities um, the other day to talk about our plans to, uh, so to speak, uh, limit these sexual, to pretty much eliminate um, as it regards to sober monitors and at parties and um, other things, awareness that could limit these sexual assault cases. And I don't, that shouldn't be directed so specifically towards Greek life, although it is, it's directed towards athletes and other things as well. But we need to really make sure that everybody's aware that no, we, do, we do not stand for it. And that's not how we as Mercerians should act or should expect anybody else here to act. All right, thank you, Harrison Jolly. You guys have two minutes beginning now. We think SGA role, SGA's role on campus is to support students. So it's to support students' passions and ideas and interest about those things. Um, I think Quad Works is bringing the lawyer from the Trayvon Martin case um, to campus. So I think that's a really good idea about how Mercer is staying involved. So it's encouraging students to go to things like that, encouraging things, um, people to go to different seminars on campus about racism. Um, and I think that it's all our duty to complete the campus clarity that we're all getting fussed out about to do. It's important that we have that information, and it's important that information is disseminated to the student body, to the entire student body. Like you said, Greeks and athletes are tended to be focused on specifically. But I think um, one of our big things too is, I'm a student justice, and I see countless cases of alcohol violations coming in on our campus. That's a touchy subject, but that's also what leads to a lot of sexual assault cases, and that's something that we have to, that has to be addressed. Yeah, and for us, it's not really what we're going to do about social justice, it's what we have planned right now. So for those of you that are free tomorrow, um, or Saturday at 5, rather, walk a mile in her shoes. I've been organizing with Order of Mega and Quad Works, um, a social injustice against sexual assault. So guys, strap on the high heels with me, and let's walk, because as I mentioned, Mercer is about making good headlines, and uh, that's a chance for all of us to make a good headline. So see you at 5, high heels ready to go. <laughs> all right, thank you. Now we have time for for three more questions to ask, be asked by the audience. Um, you guys are going to have to come up here. I would like for you to raise your hand if you'd like to ask, not right now. And then you're going to need to come up here because this is a wired mic. When you guys are asking your question, I would like to remind you that you are a Mercerian, embody those ideals, and you may either ask a question to either ticket or both tickets, and they'll have two minutes to respond. So if you'd like to ask a question, raise your hand. Sorry, you. Come on up here, man. What's your name? Uh, I'm Braz. Braz? Yeah. All right, give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is for uh, you guys. Earlier, I heard you guys talk about like how a lot of times people don't know what's going on with SGA, which sometimes is very true. You guys talked about you're not always sure about like, the policies and stuff. But you also talked about reform, so I'm just curious as to how you guys are going to reform if you don't exactly know what the policies that currently exist are. All right, thank you, Brad, Boggs, and Prella. You guys have two minutes beginning now. When it comes to the policies, we have a, a fairly good understanding. We've read the Constitution, the bylaws. We get the functionality of it. Uh, we just haven't necessarily seen it in practice, talked to the administration about all of it. Um, it is nothing that isn't, everybody comes into office, uh, comes into S uh, SGA not knowing anything about it. Um, and we are past that point. We've, uh, I've been to a Senate meeting, uh, I guess that's one, so. But anyways, um, so it's nothing we can't, we can't go up there and um, do. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, thank you. Would you guys like rebuttal? Can I rebuttal real quick? Yeah, 30 seconds. Um, it's not just um, ha like not knowing the policies. How specifically are you going to reform the Constitution to affect your changes? Let me continue with the question. You have one minute left. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Um, to reform that um, is to add the add the new senators, and that obviously will have to pass by vote um, of the Senate by two thirds. But we will um, amend, but we will move to amend the Constitution and the bylaws to add those new positions and add those um, those new members as um, other extra Senate members who will all have votes. Um, they will all have a say, and they will most likely be. Um, appointed to committees or joining committees um, to add as like extra help as uh, student organizations on campus grow. We need more um, functionality, more, more manpower, so to speak. Uh, and with more manpower, we can have more organization, more uh, better records of everything that goes on, better um, connections, better communication with everything on campus. Thank you. Uh, next question. Uh, let's go with Debashi in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Devon Chicago. Okay, I'm Devon Chi. I'm the upcoming president for Fallbrooks next year. Um, this question is directed at Harrison and Jolly, just uh, talking about student involvement again with events. Um, right now, Fallbrooks is in charge of putting on events, getting student involvement, and specifically talk about the weekends. Um, I just wanted to know what exactly do you see the problem with that? Because this year we have seen a larger pool of like students coming to a lot of our events, and that's mainly due to the surveys that we send out every year to see what days do they want to have events, what kind of events, and everything like that. So we have increased student involvement. We take care of a lot of that, but I just wanted to know, like how do you expect to improve on that? Can you be, can you be a little more specific about it, 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 specifically what it was kind of you said broad involvement? What, what's